Okay, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make your own hand-drawn elements that will take your designs to a whole nother level. You ready? Let's check it out. First thing you're gonna need is a notebook and a pen or a pencil or marker, crayon, whatever you wanna draw with. Now, the, the cleaner the paper, the better, but I'm gonna show you how easy it is and you can just use any old notebook you've got around. So all I'm gonna do is draw a couple lines here, okay? I'm gonna draw some lines, some shapes. And since I have some lines down here, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but I got some lines on here. I'm gonna stay away from those. I'm just gonna draw up here in the empty space and I'm just gonna make some shapes here. I'm gonna draw some arrows, some X's, you know, just some random thing. I don't even know what I'm doing, right? But I know on the design that I wanna do, I want the person's name to be written out, hand drawn. I'm doing it for this landing page here and I want their name really big on top. So I'm gonna write the name real quick. I'll just show you how to write it, okay? We're gonna call this person Victoria. So Vic, Victoria, I think I spelled that right. Now, I think I could turn that O into like a skull or something. So let's try it real quick. I'm going to do some eyes. I'm gonna make this little shape here and draw some teeth, right? And let's just fill that in real quick here. Okay. Not bad. Now, the next thing you're gonna do is probably scan this in, but not all of us have scanners. But what do most of us have? Phones. That's an assumption. Some of us don't have phones, but let's assume that we do have a phone. So we're gonna take our phone and all we're gonna do is take a picture of this. Take your phone, you take a picture. Now you wanna try to get your camera angle really flat. You don't really want angles to it, but it's okay if you get a little angle to it, but try to make it as flat as possible, okay? So your camera is kind of like you know, flat. Okay, now that you have the picture, you wanna send the picture to your computer. So email, text, or airdrop. Tap a couple buttons, here's some beeps, and bam, it's on your computer. So the next thing we wanna do is open that image up in Adobe Illustrator. There's also a step where you can do it in Photoshop to clean it up, but we're gonna bypass that because we're trying to do this as simple and quick and as rough as possible just to show you how easy it is. But there is one problem you might run into. You might not be able to open up a .heic file if this came from your iPhone. So in that case, just open the picture up in your Finder, preview it, and then take a screenshot of that. It won't mess up anything. Now open both of your images in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is select our first image, and what we wanna do is hit Image Trace and watch what, bam, look at that, it's like magic. It just kind of, it just kind of happened, right? Pretty cool. And you can see it still kind of feels like a Sharpie, right? Well, you can come in here and change the presets to things like High Fidelity Photo, which makes it even more realistic, which you've seen me do in some of my marker packs in the past. But this is just a black and white thing. We don't have to have that much detail. The, the less vector you have, the better in most cases, but, Every project is different. When I hit high fidelity photo here, this is all vector now. This thing is 100% vector. You can see it takes a long time for it to move because there's so much information here. But if we wanna do something like this where you get the most detail possible, a first step will be that you want to take this image into Photoshop to clean it up so it's perfectly white and black and there's a lot of contrast there. Here we still have some of the yellows and tones from just a quick image and the, actually the paper is actually yellowish. So we still have some of that there. But again, we're bypassing that because I wanna show you how quick and easy this can be to get some very simple shapes. We'll do a more advanced one later on, but right now I just wanna show you how quick and easy this is. So I'm gonna go back to the default preset here. And now that we have this, I wanna go ahead and do it to this one as well. I'm gonna image trace and it does its thing, pretty cool. Now, the next step would be to, I'm gonna move these away from the white so you can see that. Now, it still has everything grouped together. So what I wanna do is select one of these and hit expand. When you hit expand, it breaks everything out into individual pieces, but it's still grouped together. So again, select this and then hit ungroup. Now from there, everything is officially separated. So I wanna come in here and this is, you can do this any way you want. You can come in here and start, start deleting stuff, right? Which is pretty easy. 
but you'll see there's a lot of little white specks here and there. So that would take quite a bit of time to kind of go in and clean up. So what I like to do is just to come in here, select the color that I want to remove. So I want to remove white. So I select the white color and I go to select same fill color. And that will select all the white. Now watch what happens when I hit delete. It's gone, all the white, just gone. And that's what we want, right? So now we can get rid of some of these extra little elements here. And you'll still see if you zoom in, there is some trash in here, some little elements that are just hanging out. So you wanna get rid of those. Now I wanna take away the O because I want the skull to be the O. So I'm just gonna remove that. Take this skull, scale it down a little bit and fit it in there. Pretty cool, it's a little tight, a little tight. So let's use some of our design knowledge and just space this out a little bit. And then we can make this a little bit more in the center there, probably can make it bigger, whatever we wanna do. Space it out a little bit more, right? Okay, starting to feel pretty good. I like the way that's looking. Now I wanna tighten this up too. We just wanna clean this up a little bit. And I wanna get that I away from that V, just so you can tell. And I kinda of wanna spread that out just a little bit more. Cool, I like the way that's looking. Although I do, and I wanna attach that K a little bit better. I could just save this out now as an EPS or a PNG, whatever. But I wanna show you how easy it is to drag this over into something like Figma. I'm literally just gonna copy and then go over to Figma this is my design that I want to paste this into, and I'm going to hit paste, and bam! It's like right there, easy. And check this out. It's still vector, and I can still make it any color I want. Pretty cool. I can still break it down into some of these elements. Pretty cool, right? I mean, it's that simple. That looks really custom and cool, and it took Absolutely no time. So now I wanna come back in to Illustrator and I just wanna take some of these elements, right? So we're gonna go expand. Then what do we do next? We select the white, select same, fill color, magic. What did I forget to do? I forgot to ungroup it. So, so we here, we need to ungroup. After you go to expand, ungroup, then you select same, fill color, magic delete, gone. And then all I'll do from here is to take some of these elements and start pasting them in. That simple. It really is that simple.